السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام could you please clarify about the sura waqia chapter 56 regarding the touching of the holy quran without wudu in it now better the question that he wants to know that can we touch the quran without wudu and the verse in the quran sura waqia chapter 56 referring to the verses number 77 to 80 can you explain that go many people are misunderstanding that you cannot touch the quran without wudu this verse of the quran says in a natural say it says that we have revealed the quran and none shall touch the quran except those who are pure now the word used is mutahharin those who are pure many people think that if you and wudu you become a mutahharin now this purity what the quran refers if you know the background and the nuzul al quran when was this verse revealed we come to know if you read the tafsir various tafsir of ibn qasin ada tafsir we come to know that there was an allegation that these verses which the prophet was receiving that were being revealed to him nous billah it was a revelation from the devil so in reply to this allegation allah reveals another verse that none shall touch the quran except those of pure now this purity mutahharin doesn't refer to only bodily purity it refers to pure in mind in body in thinking absolute 100% masoom which no human being can be 100% it is referring to the angels that no one can touch the quran except the angels that means the devil cannot interfere in between and the quran referred here is not referring to the musaf this is a musaf means a copy of the quran talking about the quran in lohe mahfuz as allah says about the tablet well preserved so that quran which is in the heaven tablet well preserved no one can come close to it no one can touch except the angels mutahharin mention doesn't refer to only bodily purity tahara means only wudu it doesn't refer to that it refers to absolute purity and it doesn't refer to this quran it refers to the tablet well preserved in the heaven if it refers to this quran and it referred to normal wudu any non muslim can go in the market and purchase the quran for 150 rupees easily and can touch it that means the quran will be proved wrong no one can touch it i can touch you touch it so it is no way referring to wudu and touching this quran referring to the absolute purity and about lohe mahfuz but generally if someone is in wudu and touches the quran it is preferable it is mustahab it's not a fard those scholars differ there's no verse in the quran or hadith which says that wudu is compulsory for touching the quran wudu is compulsory for offering salah and it was the system of the prophet he preferred being in wudu always so it's not a fard it's not a requirement you should be in wudu but it is preferable there's no verse in the quran or hadith which says it is fard hope that's the question